Hey, I'm Garrett and I'm a student ambassador here at GRCC. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of the campus to show you everything that GRCC has to offer. But we are trying something a little bit new today. We're going to be using a 360 degree camera so that you can pan around and see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So when I point out something on the tour and it may spark your interest, just pan over with your finger and you'll be able to see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Ready? Today we're up here on the third floor of the Student Center so I can show you around. This is where our academic advising and counseling services are. Our academic advisors can help you with advising on classes and transfer materials. Our TRIO support services are also up here. This is support for students who are first generation students, which means that mom and dad both don't have either a bachelor's degree or higher. We also have our disability support services up here. This is useful for anybody who had an IEP or a 504 when they were in high school. We also have our occupational support services up here, which is just continuing service for any students that are entering into the workforce development. So here we are on the second floor of the Student Center. This is where we have a few of our dining options. Right here we have the Raider Grill. This is where you can get your burgers, fries, hot dogs, chicken, and so on. Then right over here we have the Quiet Cafe where you can get your coffee and your smoothies. It's also a very good place to study and collect your thoughts. So now that you've seen a few of our dining options, let's move on. So now we're down on the first floor of the Student Center. This is where we have the Student Life Office and the Bookstore. The Student Life Office is dedicated to helping students get more involved on campus. This is where you can find information about clubs and organizations on campus. This is also where you can go to get a brand new student ID, purchase bus passes, and purchase parking passes. The bookstore has all of our textbook needs, school supplies needs, and GRCC apparel. So now that we've completed the student center tour, let's move on to the next building. So this is our newly designed music building. If you're a music major, you'll be spending quite a bit of time in here. We have a lot of different music ensembles and choirs for students to participate in. And we also have some really cool study spaces for students as well. So now let's check out another place. So we're here on the first floor of the Learning Center. This is where our library and a couple other important offices are. Our library has a vast amount of books and computers available as resources to our students. The second floor of the library has a specialized tutoring lab called The Place. This is for anyone who places into our academic foundations courses. Over here, we have the Woodrick Center for Equity and Inclusion. This center is dedicated to improving diversity here on campus. Throughout the year, they'll have a number of diverse speakers speak here on campus, so keep your eye on the calendar and website for updates. Now let's move on to the next building. So we're here on the second floor of the ATC building, or the Applied Technology Center. This is where a number of our hands-on classes are located. If you're a majoring in computer information systems, computer automated design, or culinary arts, you'll be spending quite a bit of time in this building. Right down this hallway is one of our largest computer labs here on campus. All of these computers are equipped with the latest capabilities to perform any task I previously mentioned. Right over here is our Art and Bev's restaurant. This restaurant is run by our culinary students and let me tell you, the food is great. We also have a partnership here with Ferris State University and our offices with those people are located right in this building. Ferris State has partnered with us to offer students what's called a 2 plus 2 program or a 3 plus 1 program. This essentially means that you can do two years at our institution and two years at their institution and finish with a bachelor's. Or you can do three years at our institution and one year at theirs and still finish with your bachelor's. So now that we've toured the ATC building, let's move on. So we're here on the first floor of the main building. Right behind me is the Enrollment Center. I like to call this the Google of campus. They handle all things admissions and they can answer any questions that you'll ever have about our campus. If they don't know the answer, they'll point you in the direction of somebody that does or they'll make enough phone calls until they do. Right down here is our veteran services. If you're a veteran, stop in there and talk with them. Right down here, we have our cashier's office, our student records office, and our student employment services. Student Employment Services helps plug people in with employment here on campus. They can also do things like mock preparations for an interview, resume building, and, co and cover letters. 
Our student records office is where you'll go to update any sort of personal information that you have on file with us here. So if you get married and your last name changes, or if you move and your address changes, you'll want to stop in there and talk to them. Also, when you're ready to transfer on to your next school, you'll want to stop in there and request an official copy of your transcript. Just next door, we have the cashier's office. The cashier's is where you'll go for all things money related. So now that we've seen the main building, let's move on. So we're here on the first floor of Cook Hall. This is the hall that holds all of our English classes, math classes, and a majority of our nursing classes. What I have behind me here is our math tutoring lab. This is a special building because we have tutoring labs on every floor dedicated to a different department. The first floor is math, the second floor is business, the third and fourth floor are dental and nursing, and the fifth floor is English. All of these are free to you as a student. So now let's move forward. So this here is the main corridor of campus. The first thing I want to talk about in this corridor is our emergency pole right behind us here. These emergency poles are in place for our safety. If you're ever in some sort of immediate danger, there's a red emergency button right there on the pole that you can press and police will be at that pole within 60 seconds of you pressing that button. There's also a little black call button for non-emergency purposes. Those services are able to be used if you ever have problems like locking your keys in your car, flat tires, or even if you just need an escort to and from each class. The police force here on campus will offer all of those to you. While I'm on that topic, I should point out, right behind me is our campus police headquarters. If you ever need to speak with a campus policeman, that's where you can go. That's also where our lost and found is, so if you lose something, that's a good place to start. Just up the hill here, with all of the glass going up it, is our science building. If you have any sort of a science class here on campus, I can guarantee it will be over in that building. All of our tutoring labs for science are there as well, and also the calculus math lab. This building is our Ford Field House. That is essentially the gym. As a GRCC student, you all have a membership to our gym. This gym has a full-size basketball court, two volleyball courts, a track, a full-size swimming pool, a bunch of stationary weight rooms, and also three different free weight rooms. You can be in there at any given time. So just up the hill here are a few more buildings that you could potentially have classes in. This, these buildings are known as the DeVos Campus. And the reason I stop right here is so that I can point out this bus stop right behind me. This is called the Sneedon Shuttle. This shuttle runs on a dedicated 10 minute loop, picking students up from this portion of campus and dropping them off up the hill. It also picks students up from there and brings them back to here. So, if you have any classes at the DeVos campus, you can count on riding this Sneedon Shuttle. Just remember that it doesn't run after 6 o'clock at night. And also remember that we share it with a city bus stop. So if you're not careful, you could get on the wrong bus. A good rule of thumb though, if they ask you for money, you're on the wrong bus.